Yeah, that's such a good point. If anyone's read the the book uh, Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller, like he talks about that as being the philosophical problem. It's like, you know, roofers, roofing contractors should not have to relegate themselves to being, you know, uh, subcontracted out by, you know, Angie or Home Advisor, or Home Depot or, you know, Amazon Roofing, whatever it might be, you know. So I like that. It's, you know, putting putting those tools that would otherwise be completely inaccessible to a roofing contractor um, now is, you know, a matter of getting set up in a few hours, right? Like it's pretty simple. Yeah. So the next step is, and uh, you know, I followed your content quite a bit and and it seems to hit, hit home more and more because I'm looking at this much more closely every day. It's the question really within contractors, can you build your brand? Can you build value online through your social media, through any interaction, but it's going to be virtual rather than relying on kind of your one trick, which is sending a, a a salesperson into a living room. And so that's where a lot of these pieces that I'm seeing emerge within the roofing space, we're starting to converge in helping contractors to be ready for this new evolution that's that's really on the horizon and coming quickly. Yeah, we talk about you know evolution. It's really, it, it, it's the consumers, it's the customers that we're having coming up, right? We look at them as like millennials, right? The people that don't want to interact with humans. They want to interact with phones and other things like that, right? So we see it coming. Anyone who has kids, you know, and, and it, they know that they really don't like to interact with humans. And so the consumer wants to be in control. They want to do their own research. They want to be 100% in control. They want convenience. Like, I'm sure you don't know anybody now who doesn't use DoorDash or, you know, Instacart or whatever it is because it's convenient for them. They just want to just do that and not have to go to the store. But we're not saying that the in-person sale will go away. Like, there's always going to be that customer, that consumer that does want that in-person, you know, which I know people who still go to the mall. I know people who still go to the store. Like, it, they prefer to do that because it's part of their routine or whatever. But um, we're saying that there's going to be a big amount of people coming up that that don't want to interact with humans and they want to go this route. And that's kind of a big piece too, that if you, those consumers are going to want to look at your website, they're going to want to know what they're buying. They're going to want to know what the process is. So that's what we talk about too, with our contractors is, Hey, on your website, you know, you have to be able to show what your brand means. Like what does your brand represent? So when somebody comes to your website, like what does that brand mean? Do you donate back to the community? You know, are you an NFL sponsor or whatever you may be, you got to be able to show what your brand represents. And then you also have to be able to show them like, what the process is going to be like, what is the experience going to be like after I buy from you? And so once I buy, what is the process? You got 10 steps, eight steps, whatever it is, they want to be able to know what is to come, you know, d- down the road. So those are kind of the biggest pieces as far as, you know, within a brand, you have to be able to show those things online because you may not have the opportunity to be, you know, in the house to show them that because they're just going to be browsing online. And then you never know what traffic you never got. Because if you don't have technology like this, that person could have came and left and been gone. But if you have something that the consumer really, really wants, which is some sort of price or transparency, then you're going to get their name and information because you gave them something that they wanted. So now you do have that lead compared to somebody who's just leaving your site because you didn't give them any information that they wanted. Such as you're talking about with the blogs. You go there, you look at the blogs, they talk about, oh, this, there's a big range. It's between 20 and 80,000. You're like, okay, great. Sounds good. Uh, but if you're giving them some sort of price that's relatively really close, then you give them something they want and then they're more likely to go ahead and convert. And especially when you call that lead or you call that person who has submitted their information, they're going to remember who you were because odds are you're the only one in your market or your area that gave them that. So they're going to have a conversation with you about like, oh yeah, I used your tool online. It was so cool. Um, and I was able to get some sort of price. Yeah. You know, send somebody out. Let's, let's finalize this deal. Let's get my final price. So that's what we've been seeing as well from, you know, the success stories that we've talked to our contractors. Yeah. I love that. That's like that first mover advantage, like for anyone listening or watching right now, like, yeah, you want to be the first one in your market to offer this. So, uh, so get on over to roofle.com and get set up. But on that note, Travis or Mike, I mean, let's walk through that. I, I know how it works as I went through your guys' demo a couple weeks ago and it all makes sense, but like I'm a homeowner, I'm on the local roofing company's website, travisesroofing.com. And I'm looking around, I'm getting a quote, like, what is the, what is the process there? Am I getting a quote, submitting my info? Like, how does that all work? 
Yeah. So the consumer comes to your website, no matter how they get there, whether you're pushing traffic there or they're, they're, they're organically or whatever, however they get there, but they, uh, they, they click on, you know, the instant quote, uh, they have to enter their address. Uh, once the homeowner enters their address, it's going to bring up their address. It's going to bring up an outline around their address. And we allow them to edit the structure if they want to, uh, which basically gives them, you know, the ability to make sure that it's as accurate as, as possible. We always recommend that you don't because with our data sources, it's going to be the most accurate, but in some cases, maybe there was an addition that was done recently that wasn't in, in the data that we have. You, you have the ability to be able to edit. And we're seeing things like nine and a half minutes on average, as far as these people are spending using this tool on the contractor's website, which comes back to keep it on your website. You want to keep the traffic there. But yeah, so once they once they you know, are able to finalize the shape, everything looks good, they then uh, hit see my price, and then they have to enter their information. So now the homeowner has to give you their information uh, in order to see that price. And we do do things like, like being able to uh, send themselves emails um, of the product. So if they want to keep the product to keep it for record, as far as what they saw, they have to give you good email information. So that's what helps from as far as them putting in, you know, bad or bogus information is because we're giving them things that they want. So once they enter that, they see their price contractor can show up to eight different products on, on the widget. So they can show, you know, if they want, you know, uh, Owens Corning, GAF, wherever they want to eight different products, but they're very product specific. So if you do asphalt, tile, metal, whatever, flat, they're very product specific. It's not just general as far as like, oh, it's just asphalt, just tile, you know, just metal. It's a very product specific. So you can push the products that you actually install. So from that point, the consumer can then again, see their prices. They can then essentially shop online. If they like what they see, then they can, you know, submit the, uh, you know, the information back to themselves in an email. So they keep it for record. And then they get you know, like a nice little closing statement at the end that basically says, Hey, come, you know, thanks for coming to our website. If you want to learn more, set up an appointment, fill out your information, give us a call. But they have the option to call in or submit their information or you have the lead anyway, so you can call them right away. And hopefully you have processes in place within your company that you're calling them maybe even while they're still on the site. And then you're having a conversation with this homeowner while they're still browsing on your website. So, and that's where we saw a lot of success when we were selling as Rufal. Um, the consumer would go on there, submit their information, and we would call them a lot of times while they're still browsing. And we would actually walk them through the process sometimes while they're still browsing on the website. And it's just kind of a nice little customer, you know, service, you know, experience, you know, for um, that customer to be on your website. So that's kind of really, you know, where it's at right now is, again, being able to get that homeowner to, you know, get that information that they want while you're getting information you want, which is basically, you know, getting that lead information. That's really cool. Uh, Cause I think a lot of like homeowners, you know, we've all had that experience where you fill out a form on a local business website, a contract or whatever, and you're, you're, you know, not sure if you're going to get a call back at all, uh, which is crazy, right? Like half the battle is just freaking picking up the phone and calling people. But yeah, if you can call and help them through that process, cause you know, they have a lot of questions. I like that. That's uh that's huge. Another one that, that we're going to have to get over as an industry and as an expectation for homeowners uh, in this buying process, we call it the the bait and switch. And, and I was playing around with this a little bit with a gutter quote and it said, get a quote in seconds. And I clicked on it. I put my information in and it was nothing more than a phone call. Now, granted, it was a phone call within minutes, phone call saying, when can I set up an appointment for a sales guy to come out and measure your gutters? And I, and you know, I do need gutters and I, I wasn't just trying to play with the system, but I, you know, my response was, this isn't, this isn't the buying experience that I'm looking for. And so that's part of what as a uh, roof hole and bringing a roof quote pro, we want to have a, um, a product that's going to meet the expectation of the on, online shopper. We're not just trying to set up, you know, Hey, we're going to give you a quote in seconds and just to have a, you know, schedule somebody to come out and within, you know, 48 or 72 hours, send somebody out to, to uh, waste your time again. You know, this is, this is real time, real quick. Um, we're getting you where you want to go when you want to get there.